random vlogs here we come you guys life has been so random lately that like the content for a while is going to be very random i just know it is i usually have like content plans and stuff like that but you guys are getting ready to start seeing like real life okay girl but hello 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 and welcome back look how much more lighting i have in my new room let me turn on the lights hold on it's giving movie theater hold on guys hold on hold on you see that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. God is good, amen. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Do not mind my hair or my outfit, I just woke up. Actually, my outfit's kinda jiggy. So yeah, good morning. I'm currently up just doing my Bible study and my mom and my brother are still asleep. Jordan's at work. Yes ma'am, quickly found him a job, an amazing job, thank you Jesus. And he is off to work. The reason I say that is because if you guys do not know, we have moved. I decided to move my family away and get them out of my hometown, me and my siblings' hometown. My mom is Chicago. We were Lansing. I never really said that on my channel only because like, ugh, Lansing. But yeah, I'm from Lansing, Michigan. And girl, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing in Lansing. It ain't, look it, it's, it's, a, it's a shack. It is a nothing. It's a grain of nothing. So we had to get up out of there, girl. And there's so many more things to do here. It's closer to a lot of the places that I like to shop and like doing stuff like that. Even though I really am doing good with shopping, like I'm not saying that my shopping was like a problem, but I'm saying that I definitely have been still healing um, from like a crazy year. And I feel like with shopping, I was getting like a quick high, like not a high. I feel like that sounds like really bad, but I feel like it was, like retail like therapy in a way it really was but it's kind of at the point where i don't really care to anymore and there's a lot of other things that i would like to spend my money on and um and be able to like save more and stuff like that so what why why am i talking about shopping oh yeah i was talking about like places that i like to shop yeah i just been slowing it down only because like well i actually haven't bought myself anything and i've been to a million stores um and i know that's like super normal for like a lot of people like girl you can't buy yourself something everything every single day i know i'm getting it i i understand that um but since you know i'm not saying it as an excuse but you know a lot of people they take their pain out in a lot of different ways some people drink alcohol some people do drugs some people party with their friends you know like some people just do different things and i guess i took mine to shopping because i knew that it wasn't wrong, you know, but I did, I wasn't doing it on purpose. It was just kind of something that I was doing subconsciously. Didn't really know I was doing it. Anyway, why am I doing all this right now? Um, yeah, content's getting ready to be like super random and super like lifelike because that's honestly like just like life right now. Like the house looks crazy. Well, actually it's a four level condo. You guys know that. We plan on getting a house, but we just never found one. And time was passing by with a lease. So we got this place. We love it. We're very happy with it. it it's been really honestly like crazy getting everything in this house. Um, it's been wild. And even still then, not everything is in this house. Like you guys are gonna be like, <gasps> but the reason why it looks crazy with the amount of boxes is because Hopefully my mom doesn't get mad at me for saying this, but it's what happened. So you guys are probably wondering like why my mom was in Airbnbs. My mom actually had an apartment fire and they red tagged her apartment. So she actually couldn't stay there anymore. My mom had been reaching out to, or she had been submitting maintenance, maintenance requests and like reaching out to property managers and like basically <coughs> letting them know, <coughs> letting them know that my brother, his fan in his bathroom was having troubles and it was acting weird and they never came to fix it well one night the fire alarm started going off and my mom just heard my brother say mom mom and there was fire all in his bathroom and um i just thank jesus because um it's not always guaranteed that fire alarms are going to work and i just thank jesus because my mom said by the time she got to that bathroom she literally seen jesus put the fire out like cords are sparking there's fire um and she literally watched him put it out. She said she watched it get put out. They didn't even put it out, but he put it out. It's like he wanted to show them what he was getting ready to do. But you know, the fact of the matter is I'm a very firm and strong believer that the Lord Jesus Christ will work everything for your good if you believe in him and if you love him. And um, my mom had been dealing with some things with her neighbors and they were just, we'll get into that another day. 
and my mom just did not want to be there anymore like my mom was just super uncomfortable like she just did not want to be there anymore and she had been praying about it and praying about it and praying about it and that house fire happened and her insurance actually covered her to be in airbnbs and it covered her to have everything in her apartment cleaned and packed up and moved so my mom got to stay in airbnbs didn't have to be around no weirdo neighbors and all of her things were packed up cleaned and moved here the other day was that not a blessing my mom was getting too old to be having to pack stuff and move stuff and that worked out for her now with the company that has packed up her things and moved her things um they kind of packed a bunch of little boxes they just packed a bunch of like like two things in one big box you know so it just looks like she has like all this different stuff and um she doesn't but even then who cares i'm so hard on myself all the time about what i do on camera you know it's like then it becomes a point where it's like are you authentic or are you doing or are you fake like you'll never be free if you're always constantly caring about people and i literally the devil like tries to torment me with every little thing like think about think about what people think wait what he's always like what are they thinking what are they thinking what are they thinking oh that's embarrassing that's embarrassing that's oh, okay if jesus christ approves and he is the lord of lord and king of kings he has power and authority over absolutely everything why am I worried about it? If the power that raised him up is in me and he approves of me, why am I being so cowardice? So I'm gonna show my crib and I'm gonna like try to be as, as, as transparent as possible with my content because girl, why not? I've struggled with things that I've never struggled with. I've seen parts of myself that I've never seen and I have been the lowest that I feel like I've ever been like the past year and I've been coming out of it and I've been healing and I'm just so grateful but when I tell you guys Jesus Christ is everything and in everything I need Jesus when I tell you guys I've just really been trying to just focus on Jesus Christ and just make everything about Jesus Christ and just stay just stay in peace and kill the flesh and it has been making my life just so much better. I'm just so thankful to Jesus because that's my father. I could not do this without him. And I just want to say that there is hope in Jesus Christ and that he loves you. And I want to say this. Anybody that is, out, that is out there feeling guilty, anybody that is out there feeling condemned, that is not of Jesus Christ. The devil knows that if he can get you to feel guilty he can get you to feel like jesus doesn't love you which can make you do more bad things that in effect really hurt your spirit which is everything you know what i mean i hope you guys are getting what i'm saying i want to say this to you jesus will never love you any more than he loves you right now i didn't say he loves everything you do he may not love everything you do but he loves you oh he loves you and these are the end times and um there is not much time left the fact of the matter is, everybody will know about Jesus Christ before his return. So everybody has been given a chance. I was reading in the Bible. Here we have 1 Thessalonians, what is this one? 4, 13 through 18. I'll read that first. And now, dear brothers, I want you to know what happens to a Christian when he dies, so that when it happens, you will not be full of sorrow as those who are who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and then came back to life again, we can also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him all the Christians who have died. I can tell you this directly from the Lord, that we who are still living when the Lord returns will not rise to meet him ahead of those who are in their graves. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a mighty shout and with the soul-stirring cry of the archangel and the great trumpet call of God. And the believers who are dead will be the first to rise to meet the Lord. Then we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and remain with him forever. So comfort and encourage each other with this news. So when Christians die, I believe it's what it's saying is that their spirits go back up to Jesus, okay? It goes back up with God. But I do know what he's saying is on judgment day, the Lord will judge the dead before he judges us. So they'll go before us, okay? So he's gonna raise them up, he's gonna get them all judged first, okay? Then it will be us. Now, this is going to be 1 Thessalonians 5. Now, this is what I really wanted to get to, so, but I couldn't get to this unless I read the first scripture. So when is all of this going to happen? 
I really don't need to say anything about that, dear brothers, for you know perfectly well that no one knows. That day of the Lord will come unexpectedly, like a thief in the night, when people are saying, all is well, everything is quiet and peaceful. Then, all of a sudden, disaster will fall upon them, as suddenly as a woman's birth pains begin when her child is born. And these people will not be able to get away anywhere. There will be no place to hide. Let me put on some chapstick, y'all. My, my lips, y'all. I'm sure y'all see these scrapes all on my nose. Accutane has been beating me up. I literally only have, what, five more days left on Accutane. I woke up yesterday. There's skin all off my nose. There's skin all off my face. It's like my skin is done with this Accutane. So I cannot wait for these next five days to just pass because my skin is like, girl, hmm, hmm, girl. <laughs> um, but dear brothers, you are not in the dark about these things. You won't be surprised as by a thief when that day of the Lord comes. For you are all children of the light and of the day and do not belong to darkness and night. So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Watch for his return and stay sober. Night is the time for sleep and the time when people get drunk. But let us who live in the light keep sober, protected by the armor of faith and love and wearing as our helmet the happy hope of salvation. For God has not chosen to pour out his anger upon us, but to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that we can live with him forever, whether we are dead or alive at the time of his return. So, so I'm sorry, y'all. I haven't brushed my teeth, so like my tongue is coated. I'm not even gonna lie. So encourage each other to build each other up, just as you are already doing. And I'll stop there. And that was five, one through eleven. Basically, that is letting us know that we don't know when Jesus is gonna come back. Um, and the Bible actually says that you're a fool to think that you have time. So we don't know the day nor the hour that he will return. So it's just like, you might as well be on guard 24 seven. Cause it's like, right when he's trying to tempt you, that might be the time the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. Okay. It's like this whole entire world, this whole and everything is all just a big test for eternity. Now it's kind of hard to really wrap your mind around eternity. Our minds really can't even like grasp that. And the fact of the matter is a lot of people do not want to accept the fact that heaven and hell, they're both real. Yes, hell is real. It is a place none of us want to be. I've heard people make jokes, you know, about hell. I've heard people make jokes about it. Like it's funny, like it's a joke and it's really not, it's a real place. The Bible also speaks about, you know, if people are not willing to learn, there's no need to waste your breath on them. So if you are here right now and you're like completely against everything I'm saying, there's no need to watch. There's no need for me to try to convince you of any of the truth because you are set on not believing. You are set on disagreeing and that's what you're set on. And me, I am set on the truth. So here you will hear the truth. The fact of the matter is the devil knows where he's going and he wants you with him. He is your enemy. Okay, so it's like you want to live with the you want to live with the man that has your back 100% is down for you like none other or do you want to be with the one that literally set you up for failure, lies to you your entire life and is trying to get you to burn for the rest of your life. Not even for the rest of your life, for eternity, for eternity, for eternity. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It never ends. And it's kind of hard for our, our brain to wrap around it. But if you really think about it, touching something hot is enough to get me in tears, honey. And you think I'm trying to burn? for the for eternity with the enemy laughing at me like ha 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 i was the one that lied to you that entire time and convinced you that jesus wasn't real or convinced you that jesus didn't love you or convinced you to do certain things to heal pain that only jesus could there's so much pain in this world that people are trying to heal themselves but it cannot be healed without jesus christ and that offends people. I've heard that. They're so rude. You're disgusting for telling people they cannot hell without Jesus. The fact of the matter is, we were created to depend on Jesus Christ. Our bodies were just meant, we're just, we were created that way. Cut scene. So, I don't know too much about like the new Teslas and stuff like that, but it's like how Elon Musk designed the Tesla to be charged. It's like trying to put gas in it. It's not going to work. It was designed to be charged. It's like trying to charge your phone with the wrong cord. It's not going to work. It's just going to end up dying. Look, the phone still works, 
But when it dies, the only thing that is going to be able to reboot it and recharge it is the right charger. It's no good without the charger because it was designed to have a certain charger. You can argue with it all day. It wasn't designed to take that cord. We weren't designed to take the devil's bait and take his lies on as our own. So, you know, taking certain medications, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna heal you. And I wanna be healed. I don't wanna be numb. Anyway, y'all, the Lord is just, he working through me this morning, y'all. Y'all, I'm, I'm talking a whole bunch, but that just really made me, that just really got me thinking like, you know, we gotta get on our junk because the fact of the matter is, is judgment day is coming. And the fact of the matter is, that's gonna be a very scary day for people. And you can be mad all you want, but I would much rather tell the truth to people and, and know that people are benefiting. And when I say all this stuff, I want people to understand that it's not me being like all judgmental and me preaching at people. I'm preaching to me too. I've learned last year that I was capable of things that I didn't even know that I was capable of. I was faced with things. The Lord allowed me to face certain things that I've never faced before. And he's allowed me to do certain things that I've never done before so that I could learn and I can also help. Jesus is coming back. You gotta pick who you're gonna go with. The father of lies or the father of truth. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting the unseen. Evil spirits, demons. And it's hard, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. If even the devil fell and he was in heaven, just imagine down here and we can't even see what we're fighting. But we know that we're not fighting people, we are fighting the unseen. I know it's hard, but it's the truth. And as long as you stay in peace, the devil has no foothold in your life. As long as you don't act how you feel, you are going to kill that flesh and you are going to experience victory. Anyways, what pumpkin? Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy. Oh, hi. Good morning. You been with Uncle Brent? I bet you she was with Uncle Brent. I like it. Yes, girl. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, leave her alone, Essence. Good morning. Ow, Essence. Seriously? Okay. Good morning, y'all. I don't want to be too loud because I'm not sure who's up and who's not up yet. Um, we've all been dealing with spiritual warfare like crazy. Let me just tell you, like... I don't know what the heck we've been going through, but it's like as soon as we moved, something happened in the spiritual realm. Like something has been established in the spiritual realm. Hey, stop it. I was listening to Jacqueline Carr. First of all, I love this one song. She's got out. Stop it. I love this one song. She's got out. Leave her alone. It's called It Has Been Established. I'm qualified. Amen. Go listen to it. It's called It Has Been Established. I'll link it down below. Um, but anyways, yeah, we was dealing with spiritual warfare and my mom and my brother weren't sleeping like that and so when we moved here i've been noticing that they've been being able they've been able to sleep that just makes me so happy because we've all been really going through spiritual warfare we've all been struggling so bad and i'm just i'm just happy we're we're, we're just we're happy you guys and like the devil tried it he tried to use some people and convince them that what i was doing was wrong um being with my family and also being engaged. No, this was actually one of the best things Jordan and I could have ever done for our relationship. Um, I think it's actually very important for young Christian couples to be counseled and also to have, um, what do you call it? Um, I don't know, but it's good for us to have my family. You get what I'm saying. I don't need to explain everything. Once you do that, you start to kind of feel the emotions of the hate. Um, I need to make some chlorophyll water because I've been noticing, you're gonna leave her alone right now, you're gonna go in your cage. Stop biting her. Do it again and watch what happens. That cage, oh, it's free, baby. Essence, like, she did, she never, like, leaves Lockett alone. She's constantly biting her. She's constantly just being rude. What did I just say? And I don't play that jump. So, uh-huh. I'm not playing it. First, it was just Lockett. And it's wrong to just let another dog come in and bully Lockett in her own home. You know what I mean? Like, it's her home, too, but you gotta get what I'm saying. I'm about to make some chlorophyll water because, um... I've been super bloated lately and when I'm bloated it's because I haven't been going number two enough and the only thing that helps me go number two is chlorophyll and this. These bloom greens and superfoods, these right here also help me with my bloating because it helps me go number two and honestly I like to mix them together but I'm going to drink one bottle of chlorophyll and then a cup of this with chlorophyll as well. Because it gets me going like this morning I think I've already gone twice. A lot of the time like why our stomachs are bloated is because 
the number two was like stopped up in there. There's handprints all over that fridge. Um, but there's just going to be like certain things that I sacrifice as well moving in just like them. Like my mom has already tripped over the dogs a million times and I'm like mom like it's a part of living with dogs. And then there will be more cleaning and stuff like that but that is nothing. And I think it also helps me to not be so uptight about everything because I literally beat myself up if there's too many dishes in the sink or I beat myself up like I'm way too hard on myself and it really helps when you're not isolated. So yeah, why didn't I grab the chlorophyll? This chlorophyll is up on my Amazon storefront. If you want to try it, um, I have it up on my Amazon storefront. Chlorophyll literally changed my life. It's good for hygiene reasons and it's also good for bloating and it's just good. It's a good um, detoxifier for your di the digestive tract. It looks gross, but it's really not bad. It's pretty darn yummy. Anyways, so when Jordan gets out of work, he's going to take all of us to Walmart because, hey, hey, that was both of you, but we're not going to be fighting. Jordan's going to take us all to Walmart because uh, Walmart is like 22 minutes away. And I'm still getting comfortable driving around here because the traffic is a little different. Um, um, my first day, like the first day we moved out here, I told Jordan to wrap my bed up. Like, I bought a bunch of wrap, $30 wrap. I bought two things of $30 wrap. So I spent $60 on wrap. We wrapped my vanity. We wrapped my mirrors. We wrapped everything. And I told him, make sure you wrap my bed because it's cloth and it can get dirty. They pulled up. They opened up the truck. My bed's not wrapped. I said, what did you just do? I said, I asked you to wrap my bed. I walked down the steps. There's rust on my bed. I was so upset. Y'all, I took off. I said, I got to go to a Starbucks. I went to McDonald's. And I drove around for a little while. So I do know a couple places to drive around here. Um, but I drive the I drove the first day because I just need to like calm down. Like I will say one thing that Jordan has taught me is like go off by yourself and think. And girl, I did that. And uh I had to pray. And the Lord told me it was a test. And I had to come back and apologize for being so upset. And it is what it is. Um but my mama bought this for me. She bought this incredible remover stuff for my bed. So we're going to do that probably today. And then, hey, so I've got things to do to my bed because my bed has all that sticky stuff on it from when I took my LED lights off. But I remembered when my mom first bought this couch, she had first bought this couch. She was super excited about it. And um, she was very serious and stern about not getting it messed up. But I was going through some stuff at the time. I'm not sure if you guys remember, like back when I lived with my mom, like I had like cleaning up my depression room. I was really going through depression. And honestly, TikTok had a lot to do with that. Like TikTok, we'll get, that's a whole nother thing but tiktok had a lot to do with that and well my mom didn't want me to be isolated by myself back in my room so she was like just sleep on the couch i'm gonna set you up in the living room blah blah blah, because she was right by the living room so she just wanted to keep checking on me to make sure i was okay and also make sure that i wasn't like you know by myself because that's when demons can really torment i fell asleep with gum in my, in my mouth and completely forgot because i was just going through so much fell asleep woke up i started to smell gum and I looked at my hair and there was gum on my hair and I looked under the couch and there was gum all over the couch. And I literally was crying, like I literally was praying. And I'm like, Lord, what am I gonna do, blah, blah, blah. I look it up and they say that acetone gets it out. So I got my acetone and it came right out. So I'm like, will it take out the LED light sticky stuff? And then if it leaves a stain because my bed is so light, then I'll use my mom's Bissell cleaner to suck up whatever the heck stain it did. So I'm just really praying everything goes smoothly. Um, I pray about absolutely everything y'all. I even been praying about my lashes because let me say this. I love my lash tech. This girl is untouched. I've never had a lash tech like her, but unfortunately she's far away now and I plan on still coming to see her, but realistically I'm not going to be driving out there every single time I need my lashes done. So I canceled my appointments, meaning that I have to figure out how the heck I'm going to do my own lashes by myself and make them look like lash extensions. So I've been praying about that. Like, Lord Jesus, please help me on my lash journey. Like honestly, just help me with everything. So yeah, girl, I just be talking. It ain't nothing else to do. But what I was saying was he's going to take us to Walmart. How did I get off the subject of Walmart? He's going to take us to Walmart after he gets out of work because I honestly don't want to make that drive. So he's going to take us all to Walmart because we have to get things for the house. Like I have to get organizers for like the cabinets. I have to get hangers. Um, and we have to get a lot of things from Walmart. But I was saying like in the meantime, I can organize my hygiene closet and I can start organizing my vanity because I have bins for my hygiene closet and I also, um, my vanity's up. 
so I can start stuffing my vanity back up and getting my hygiene closet all organized. And if I still have too many products after putting it in my hygiene closet, I am going to donate them when I go back to Lansing because I still want to support my hometown because it's a lot going on there and I just want to be able to help people there. So I will drive them back to Lansing and I will give them to people that are, that are in need. So yeah, that's what's going on. Right now I'm upstairs praising. I'm not upstairs right now, but I was praising worshiping because I love um, a couple songs. Don't You Give Up On Me by Brandon Lake. It's been established by Jacqueline Carr. And I believe it's called Overflow by Tasha Cobbs. Girl, we listened to that this morning because honey. Eyes haven't seen. And ears haven't heard. The kind of blessings. The kind of blessings that's about to fall on me. Don't you give up on me. Don't you give up on me. Cause the darker the night gets, the brighter the light hits. Don't you give up on me. Don't you give up on me. You ain't seen what I promised. Child, we're just getting started. Open your heart, open your... Wait, how does it go? Open your heart, open your hands, open your eyelids. I've got more dreams, I've got more plans, I've got more blessings. Don't lose your hope, don't lose your faith, that's where your fight is. I've got more dreams, I've got more plans, I've got more blessings. Oh, 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 there is so much more. Oh, 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 oh. I see you, child, though you can't see me. And I know your thoughts before you even think. I heard every last prayer you pray. Though I answered every time, you just didn't hear my reply. And I know it's not easy. Don't you give up on me. Don't you give up on me. Cause the darker the night gets, the brighter the light is. Don't you give up on me. Don't you give up on me. You ain't seen what I've promised. Child, we're just getting started. Open your heart, open your hands, open your eyelids. I've got more dreams, I've got more plans, I've got more blessings. Oh, 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 there is so much more. Oh, 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 oh. I see you, child, so you can't see me. And I know your thoughts before you even speak. I heard every last prayer you prayed Though I answered all the time You just didn't hear my reply And I know it's not easy But, but don't you give up on me Don't you give up on me Cause the darker the night is That's when the light hits the hardest Cause if he said that he will do it, it will come to pass. God has not forgot. God has not forgot. Can you help me say God has not forgot? Mm -hmm. God has not forgot. God has not forgot. Cause if he said that he will do it, it will come to pass. God has not forgot about you, no. God has not forgot. Can you help me say? I pray for your healing. The circumstances will change. 
I pray that the fear inside will leave in Jesus' name. I pray for your breakthrough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom. Little morning cleanup. That washer is loud, <clears throat> but I'm grateful because a grateful heart is the freaking key. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm very grateful because the louder the washer, I feel like the more powerful it is. That may not be true, but I'm, I'm grateful for a more powerful washer because I know what it is. I know what it is. Anyway, that little bit of straightening up I did, you guys, <laughs> that's nothing compared to the cleaning I need to do because I haven't even mopped the floors yet. And there's been movers in here, we've been in here, like there's still a lot of cleaning to do. And usually it would bother me, but since I am really trying my hardest to stay as connected as I can to Christ Jesus, that stuff is not worth your peace. And he's like, it's gonna get done. Baby, it's gonna get done. You just gotta trust me and stop trying to live in the future. Do what you can right now. Um, like I told you guys, I was listening to I'm Getting Ready. Okay, I called it Overflow, but it's by Tasha Cobbs. And um, featuring is Nicki Minaj in the song. And honestly, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of what she does in her life. But that doesn't matter because Christ Jesus can absolutely use um, everybody. And he definitely used her for this song because, you know, and being judgmental like yesterday. First of all, I used to listen to the song all the time. But like the devil will try to get you to be judgmental towards people. Like yesterday, my mom had this song on and I was like, oh, turn that off. Like she has no right to be sitting up talking about God and she want to sit up here and do stuff like this. And my mom was like, yeah, but I'm going to tell you right now, I get, I get chills off of that part every single time. And I'm going to tell you right now that Jesus can use anybody. And her lyrics on here are spot on. So let's go over her lyrics. I mean, I don't sing all lyrics just because most times... If I'm not comfortable with singing those lyrics because I don't know what it means, I'm not going to say anything. Um, I watch what comes out of my mouth because the power of life and death is in your is in your tongue. Um, literally, you are controlled by your mouth and your thoughts. Like when I tell you, when you speak bad about people, you're speaking bad to yourself. If you're speaking negatively, negatively about somebody and gossiping about somebody, it's going to go right back into your spirit because you're the first person to hear your words that you speak. How you're talking about them, you're gonna feel that exact same way. Oh, she ugly. Oh, she fake. Oh, she. Mm -hmm. You're gonna feel that exact same way. You're never gonna feel good if you speak badly ab ab about people because we are not meant to do that. Okay, she said, Yo, hey, yo, beach house vibes maneuver the jet ski. Cause I serve a god that parted the Red Sea. Multi million dollar commercial for Pepsi. Y'all can't even. I, I'm not a rapper, so I sound dumb. But multi-million dollar commercials for Pepsi, from food stamps to more ice than Gretzky. I don't gotta talk, the Lord defends me. I watch them all fall from going against me. And I don't know about this part, cause me and all my angels shot the devil up. Like, I don't know about that, so I just don't say it. While you were trying to pull me down, I leveled up. I leveled up twice, I leveled up three times. He tapped them and told them she's mine. That gives me chills. Like my father was like, ah, 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 she's mine. He tapped them and told her she's mine. So even when I cried, I knew I'd be fine. Like, I've never cried so much in my life. With everything that happened last year, I remember like, I would wake up out of my sleep crying. It was the weirdest thing. Like, I would wake up and instantly start crying. I was waking up out of my sleep crying and praying. But I knew everything would work out. 
but it was so hurtful. Prepare for a miracle blessing in these times. Now praise him, raise him, name it, claim it. Every tongue that rises up against me, shame it. She says, I breathe success in and out my lungs. I say, he breathes success in and out my lungs. But that part when she said, I don't gotta talk, the Lord defends me. I watch them all fall from coming against me. While you was trying to pull me down, I leveled up. I leveled up twice, I leveled up three times. He tapped them and told them she's mine. So even when I cried, I knew I'd be fine. Prepare for a miracle blessing in these times. Wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength. I'm getting my strength, but I could have only got it in Christ Jesus. We can try everything. We can try to do whatever. Well, it ain't gonna, it's going to all come to a dead end if it ain't with Jesus, if it ain't about Jesus. Anyways, girl, I'm doing all kind of random stuff this morning because um, I'm on camera and everything's just honestly like a mess. Like, look at my bathroom. Everything's a mess. But I'm happy, you guys. Things are really working out. I ain't got my mama in a place that she has always dreamed about. I'm very happy, but with Jesus, none of this would have been possible, he ain't said. So, I don't even want to get in the shower yet. I'm going to put on some nails. Should I put on nails? I'm going to put on some nails. When I put on my nails, I'll start getting ready. And then you and I, you and I, can start putting up my hygiene products because I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to put on these nails. Oh my gosh, look at my nose, you guys. All that skin came off my freaking nose. These are my nails. I'm gonna put these nails on. They're super cute. Let's put them on. Okay, so I was gonna order a little ring light. I'm telling you, Jesus is in the working business. I was gonna order a little ring light and then I don't know where my mom unpacked a little ring light and I've been using her little ring light. So thank you, mom, and thank you, Jesus. And I usually have it right there. Not usually, I only had it on today. Right here, but I'm not gonna put it right there right now because I don't feel like it. So we're just gonna do nails. Let's do it. Um, You guys. This freaking necklace I've had on since my what was it 17 was it my 17 it was my 18th birthday so I've had it for two years I've been I've been walking around saying three girl I'll be overdoing everything um where my nails at I walk in here with no nails girl what what do it what do it what the hey oh my necklace you guys you freaking guys ow the scraggle can you just like not expose my whole entire room come on my necklace you guys I have been hit with a lot of different tests. Which I'm grateful for. It doesn't feel good in the moment. But because I've been, the Lord's really been just like waking me up with a lot of different things. I have been hit with so many different tests. And you know the crazy thing with Jesus is that you never fail. You just got to get hit with it again until you pass. You got to keep facing that same test until you pass it. So it's like might as well pass it the first or second time. Because after the first time I feel like you realize it was a test. And I feel like the second time is like when you can do it. Either way, you'll get it. I woke up this one morning. And the Lord told me you're going to be hit with an ultimate test. And I was like, ultimate test? What you mean ultimate test? What, what you talking about? And then the whole day went by and I was scraped. Nothing happened, okay? Girl, I got home and I went to go grab Essence's um, bowl out of her cage. And I came up and this thing yanked. Now, for a lot of people, that's not a big of a deal. But the Lord knows what is a big of a deal to you personally. Sorry, I'm getting hot so my face is starting to get red. So let me drink some water. He knows what's a big what's a big deal to you personally and this necklace you guys don't even know i love my necklace so much he said if you react you give the devil a foothold in your life if you react you're opening up a door if you react you're opening up a door so i didn't react i just talked to the lord in my head and i went to my bathroom and i cried and i cried but i passed that test i'm not sure if i vlogged it or what the heck but anyway my coffee kept spilling over and over and over again i would get coffee it would spill i'd get coffee it would spill I get coffee like oh my gosh like and those were tests because something about my coffee spilling it really just bothers me so i'm just drying out my nails with the alcohol wipe so what uh, i kept getting hit with the same test I swear to gosh it was weird not weird it was it's the truth i kept getting hit with the same test my coffee kept spilling my coffee kept getting ruined and until i didn't react it didn't stop so now my coffee has been pretty darn safe so i've been hit with a lot of different tests I mean, little tests, like people saying stuff but me not reacting because it's not worth it. And it's the little things, you guys. It's the little things that you pass that count. So I've been catching all these different tests and I'm very excited. I'm very happy and I'm very blessed that he loves me enough to even hit me with tests because the tests benefit you. Look at this thumbnail. Look how cute that is. Is it gonna furk or Look how cute you stop hitting me right now. But the whole entire upstairs smells so good when I do laundry. Motion detected in the front yard. I'm so sorry. How did I forget what I was saying? Oh, the washer. 
The washer has everything upstairs smelling so amazing. Yes, everything just smells so good up here right now. Y'all know I make my own laundry powder. When I run out, I'll make some more, but you guys know I make my own laundry powder and it's so cheap, you guys. It's the best way to ever go with laundry because the powder has lasted me so long, you guys, and I still have so much more left. And it may not smell as good as regular detergent. Sorry, you guys, my lips are always dry, so I lick them, which makes it worse. I'm not sure why I do it, but it may not smell as good as laundry detergent, but all you have to do is add some nice scent beads and your clothes will smell like the scent beads. So I have in baby powder dreft beads, like dreft baby beads, and they smell like baby powder. So my clothes smell like baby powder. And next time I'll probably do Gain, only because I kind of miss Gain. I wish Snuggle would come out with like some dope like beads, kind of like gain has it they have beads but they're not the snuggle original scent like the blue sparkle scent i don't know but girl these nails is cute i'm waiting for my other ones to be shipped out and that will be my very first package here essence is a lot i'm not even gonna lie like that girl is that girl is a lot the lord really has tested me even with that dog because she girl she tests my patience all the time all the time but let me tell you something, Jesus loves the animals and we have to treat the animals with respect as well and love. They need discipline, but they also need love and respect. So I really try with her. Um, I really, I feel like Essence was more of like an impulse decision. It, I did it for Locket, but I definitely should have waited a little longer. Um, that's why you honestly should never go anywhere if you're sad or if you're dealing with things because the day that I got Essence, I it wasn't a good day for me, and I feel like I did it emotionally. Um, but the Lord will work everything for your good, so he's working Essence for my good. And you know, she keeps Locket company, but she takes a lot out of me and Jordan. But um, the reason why none of my clothes are up, I gotta show y'all my crazy closet. The reason why none of my clothes are up is because I was supposed to go to IKEA, but I got to Starbucks and my car declined. So I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? What happened? I get a hold of the bank and basically somebody got a hold of my card information and they've been trying to buy stuff on my car but my bank blocked every single transaction. So they didn't let those transactions go through but of course I needed to cancel my card and of course um, get a new one but there's a whole process because I've moved, it's just the whole thing. So I can't use my card, of course, because it's canceled. And I'm not gonna pull out thousands of dollars to go to Ikea in cash. Like that doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. So once my card is back in action, then I'll be able to go to Ikea and get my mom and I what we need for our rooms. Cause I really plan on getting um, two dressers in my closet. I want there to be two dressers underneath where I hang my clothes. Um, and then I might get like a wardrobe, like a mini wardrobe in here somewhere because we have to utilize the space that we have to the best of our ability. Yeah, girl. So it's going to be a lot of learning here. It's going to be a lot of cool things that we'll be able to do here, but it's all like in time. I'm just taking everything day by day just because like I'm the kind of person that wants to get things done like this. And I'd be sitting up wondering why I'm so stressed out and anxious because you're not supposed to do all that. You're supposed to really think and process everything and do things little by little. And I know I'm talking a lot, y'all, but I'm just getting y'all updated on my life right now. And I'm just giving you guys a good update of everything that's going on. Everything is just looking up, you guys. I'm very excited. And I'm so, like, I can't even explain to you guys how happy I am to be back with my mom. We're like best friends. Like, if somebody try her, I got her to talk. Uh, I can talk to her. If somebody try me, she gonna talk to me. Like, we know each other and we got each other. Okay, I'm proud of Jordan for where he's going in life and what he's doing in his life. I'm so proud proud of that man you guys and I'm proud of the man that he is becoming and who he has become I'm just proud of who he is today um and then um, my little brother was a G because he came in and was like you know we can move everything I'm like what because I was gonna hire movers he's like no we can do it all I'm telling you we can do it all so I'm like I would have had to pay so much money for movers, but I didn't have to because my little brother was like, nah, Jordan and I can do it. Which the thing was is Jordan had been telling me that he could do it. He was like, I'm telling you, I can move everything. I can drive the U-Haul truck. I can do it all. And they did. They packed, I mean, I packed everything up. They moved everything out. Jordan drove the U-Haul truck. They rode together. They packed everything in here and they did their thing. And they were back up the next morning being productive. Okay, so I'm proud of everybody, you guys. Everybody has been troopers in this move. Everybody has been trooping it out and everybody has been doing pretty darn good. I'm just glad my mama is with me. I plan on getting like jaw surgery. I don't know about this year. I've been seeing this year, but since I have so much to do this year, 
who knows when I'll get it done. But my mom was always worried about me getting jaw surgery like when I moved out because I had been talking about it and she was worried about that because she was like, I'm not going to be there with you like every single day because I'm not living with you like we don't live together. And so when we decided to move back in together for so many different reasons that I don't really need to discuss, my mom was just like super happy because when I get my jaw surgery, I need somebody to take care of me. I think they said the downtime was like two weeks or something. I'm not sure. I forgot. But I'm definitely going to need somebody to take care of me because Jordan goes to work in the daytime um now um, i'm talking too much y'all like oh these match my wedding i mean my engagement ring and if you guys are wondering why i have the band on too i'm sure a lot of people are like girl why are you wearing the band you're not married yet we want to get another band for when we get married we want to get another band right here that's bigger because i just wanted it to be like super like gaudy and that's what we're doing my hands are all cut up this accutane is going wild my skin just cuts i'll be back y'all let me finish these nails i only got four more to go i need to learn how to talk and Good. I need to learn how to talk and stay on subject. I'm doing my nails. I'm literally putting on the last one in a minute. And I was like, wait a minute. I talked about my necklace, but I never finished the story. Anyways, he was just like, stay calm. And you can take it in on, what was it, a Tuesday? Because Memorial Day was on a Monday. And he was like, stay calm. You can take it in. So I took it to the jewelry doctor. And the lady was extremely rude. I'm not even gonna lie. It was really weird. Like it was like almost she was like super mad because I was happy. She was like, mm, it's gonna take about two weeks. It won't be ready until June 6th. I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Like I have a lash appointment on that day. I canceled it already, but I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be in time. I'm so happy. She was like, just mad at everything that I was saying. And I was just excited. I left and I was really excited. I got the call on the day of moving that my necklace was ready. So I went and got my necklace and I was so excited. So I got my necklace, it's finished. And there was a very nice lady in there. And she was like, this is your baby, ain't it? I said, this is my baby. I've had her for so long. It got stuck in the dog cage. And the guy in there was like, dude, it's always the dogs or the kids. It's always dogs or kids, dogs or kids. Like it's funny, but it's not. I'm like, literally. So I got my necklace back and I'm just thanking Jesus because they have it in mint condition. I got my necklace. This is my signature piece. Okay, this is my signature necklace. Okay, I love this. It just shines and does its thing i was reading in the bible yesterday i was like jordan come listen to this it says in the end times i forgot who said was this a letter from paul paul in the end times okay he's talking about the end times they will say it is wrong to be married and wrong to eat meat even though god gave these things to well-taught christians to enjoy and be thankful for for everything god made is good and we may eat it gladly if we are thankful for it and if we ask god to bless it for it is made good by the word of god and prayer they will say it is wrong to be married. It ain't wrong to be married. Bible don't say you got to get married at this age and this age. It ain't wrong to be married. It's a gift from the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't listen to what the world talking about. The world be on that crack. I'm just, let me stop. <laughs> nails did. Yes, ma'am. Look how beautiful these nails turn out. You freaking guys. Look how beautiful. I love the flower. Flowers just make everything look so much better. Look at this super cute picture I ran across the other day of my grandpa and my brothers and me. Look how cute. And this was when Jordan was like first meeting my family. This was our first event out. This is the first time my mom ever like met Jordan and got to really know him. Um, and we went to Craig's Cruisers in Grand Rapids. We were making funny pictures and she got to know him that day. And she was like, wow, like this boy is so freaking cool. Like he likes to have fun. He ain't embarrassed. Like he loves it. Oh, look at more pictures. Look how cute. <laughs> no nasty paws. No nasty paws. I gotta get some kind of like antibacterial wipes near the door for the dogs for when they go outside because they come back in their paws are all messy because there's so much construction going on outside because they're still building these condos. So we gotta wipe their paws each and every time they come in but I need to get them like a nice little station by the door down here because this is where they come in. And then with the walls you guys so moving in first of all let me just say that the real estate agent is like one of the best ever he's so freaking cool he basically warned us like this place does have flat paint and you really cannot clean flat paint and he told us like there's gonna be you know marks and stuff because they're so narrow with you guys moving stuff in and then we'll just kind of go over it with the paint but the thing with flat paint is you can't clean it so i've been seeing like hand prints and stuff like that and of course mistakes are gonna happen so that's one thing that is a little frustrating because i don't want to have like stuff on my walls especially like when i'm recording like i don't like 
that kind of look because it just does not oh his bathroom smell good it's a little messy but it smells nice so if you guys see you know marks and stuff like that on the walls it is flat paint and we're waiting to get everything unpacked and everything in the house before we paint over all the smudges and stuff like that so we got to figure out a way to keep these dang walls clean like this is not a joke because one of my pet peeves is dirty walls but this is my closet so far i have tons of space for shoes um so i know that my shoes will be able to fit are you crying why are you crying I know my shoes will be able to fit. It's just with clothing. Like I said, I had to get a dresser right here and a dresser right here and then hang as many clothes as I can. And then if that's not enough, I'm going to have to go ahead and get like a nice little wardrobe. So yeah, you know, we got plans. We got things we are working on. Um, over here is like the stuff for the laundry room. So I'm still working on the laundry room right now, you guys. I want to go ahead and put these up back there with tacks, but I don't have any tacks right now. Yeah, and then those two cute pictures are going to go on the wall. And then this is going to be my hygiene closet. Of course, it doesn't have as much space as the other one did but this is going to be the hygiene closet so what i did was i went to target the other day and i bought a bunch of containers um and since target's not so close to me that's also going to help me save some money because girl y'all know i spend a lot of money at target um i have four of these in what 11 of these so we're going to go ahead and use these today to put as many hygiene products as we can in this closet and of course you know i can still put a shelf right here um i can still put something right there because all upstairs is jordan eyes except for the washing room so all of this is our space that we can use it's just our little suite up here below us is the um the kitchen and living room and then below that is brant's level and below that is my mom's level so Life is good. Life is amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Y'all just got to hold on. Hold on. And just know that you're doing better than you think you're doing. Don't let these demons trick you into thinking that you're not doing good. That you're a failure. Don't speak those things. Speak positive about yourself. Speak things that are going to benefit you. I am strong. I am qualified. I have what it takes. I am attractive. Okay, girl. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm trying to figure out if I should like take a shower right now and brush my teeth and wash my face first or do my hygiene products first. I'll shower. I'll shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, get myself together and then I'll come back and then we can start organizing the hygiene closet. So yeah, as of lately you guys, I've been using antibacterial um, toothpaste and I'm going to tell you guys this. This is like pretty wild but it's true. So I have my wisdom teeth come in in increments. They never come in. They're just not coming in fully. They're coming in in increments. And over here, I've noticed that this one's starting to taste bad. Like, it's starting to have like an odor. And I looked it up and it was because the bacteria is getting caught in there. And so one of my girls from New Zealand sent me some antibacterial fluoride toothpaste. But I, it's in the move. In the move, I lost it somewhere. It's, one of, it's in one of these boxes. And when I tell you guys that completely got rid of the odor in that tooth and that nasty taste... But on top of that, my breath is extremely fresh. It's crazy. Try out an antibacterial toothpaste. I bought this one at CVS. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, this stuff is amazing. If it's antibacterial, it kills that nasty odor-causing bacteria. And I'm telling you guys, your breath is going to smell amazing. So try to shoot for antibacterial toothpaste. But yeah, I haven't really put anything in these drawers. Um, I like how you can literally slam them and they won't slam. Like... And they close on their own like that's so amazing but like i said i'm gonna go ahead and shower brush my teeth wash my face and i'm gonna get back to y'all scratch that i'm actually really hungry i'm not even sure why i didn't think about eating but i need to eat something i bought like some diced up ham cubes the other day and i'm pretty sure we have eggs yes we have eggs so i can like you know cook up some ham cubes or whatever the heck i've never done this before so who knows i've never made this but let's see should be good maybe a little bit more all right i'll use some sharp cheddar cheese and then when jordan gets out of work we can all head to walmart i thought i was recording me making these eggs and i wasn't oh my god <laughs> golly 
Yeah, that I got it. I know. Thank God she caught it on time. Yeah, at least they get something. Oh my gosh, I remember one time I thought I was recording all that stuff I had. Oh my, like, oh my like, goodness, mom. Yes, it feels terrible yeah, when it happens. Yeah, I got to see a lot of stuff that you, you go through and how hard it is. Yes. The work you do. Right. Like, girl, you've been putting the work in on COVID. My baby was doing... Oh, oh yeah please. yeah and, we, and, I, and i had to make content from inside the house and not tell anybody that i had covid of course because i just didn't really want to like i know you know it was a big thing if you said anything about covid exactly when are you gonna make us some of them eggs you be making with cilantro and I mean, tomatoes I, honey, I want some of the cilantro eggs you be making so we need to pick up that stuff and the store. okay Okay, girl, so I am doing my hair right now and I am detangling it in sections because it was pretty darn tangled, especially on this right side. But girl, I ate, my mama ate, which is such a good thing because my mama and I do not eat breakfast, but I was hungry this morning and I told her like, you gotta eat, you need energy. And she was like, yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food because she has a lot of unpacking to do. And if anybody's wondering how my mom is doing, she is doing amazing. And that also goes out to the weirdos that love to talk about my mama on a daily basis. My mom is such like a hot topic and her family is weird. But you know what's weird though? And this isn't me not being Christian. Like this is just me telling the truth. It's weird to me how my mom was always considered less than everybody in her family because she didn't have any money. And everybody was so happy that they were better than my mom because my mom was focused on being a mom. Um, and my dad, of course, wasn't doing well with the money. So we just never had anything. And everybody always was so happy that my mom didn't have anything. So when the Lord blessed me financially and now that she's financially stable, Lord Jesus, whatever's going on in that situation, I ask that you please move in that situation, Lord Jesus, and let your will be done. Be there with them right now. Whatever is going on, Lord Jesus, move and let your will be done in that situation. In the mighty, powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. Uh, my mama taught me to do that my whole entire life. Um, but uh, now that she's stable, it's just like people are so mad. Like they always got something to say about my mom. So if anybody is watching this that loves to talk about my mom, my mom is doing better than ever and will continue to do so. Thank you so much. We ain't worried about none of that weird stuff. My mom is doing great. Very classy woman. Mm-hmm. And then, like I've been saying for the entire morning, we're going to go ahead and tackle that hygiene closet. I'm super excited to get that done because once i get that done like that's a pretty darn big um chunk out of my boxes so i'm gonna load that sucker up even if the um the containers that i bought aren't like the best organized because i want to fit as much as i can i'm okay with that girl do not mind my face it's always super red after i get done washing it but i wanted to go ahead and show you guys this cute little setup i have um i did buy the matching candle to these two but i seen this at target the other day and i was like oh my gosh how cute i'm not going to be lighting um any candles in this house like that and if i do it'll be like extremely rare and it will have to be underneath the oven fan and it can't be burned past three hours and i know they say four but i just want to be safe or if i'm doing like a cute like spa hygiene video i want to go ahead and light a cute little candle but i had to go ahead and buy that because it's so cute and you guys i literally was jumping up and down for joy in target the other day because i found this if you know you know how good the unstoppables fresh smell smells <laughs> And they have a full cleaning solution. So I cleaned my entire vanity with it because it was covered in candle soot from all the soot, you know, coming from the candles that I burned. And you guys know I burned a lot of candles. So I scrubbed this entire vanity down. I scrubbed the back of it, the sides of it, the top of it. The only thing that was not scrubbed because I even scrubbed up there, that, that, that. Each and every drawer, I scrubbed the jewels. Only thing that's not clean is this side of the vanity, which it will be cleaned because I want Jordan to bring this vanity over there. But then now that I think about it, maybe I still want it here. Anyways, girl, the stuff smells amazing. I'm gonna start adding it to my laundry. Like I just know that it's gonna smell amazing in my laundry because I used to add pine salt to my laundry and then my mom started to do it recently. Like she adds a lavender one. So I'm like, I'm gonna add that to my laundry because it does smell like laundry and I'm gonna see what happens. But anyways, yes, the bathroom's a mess, but I'm not really focused on that right now because it's not like, like unmanageable. What I'm really focused on is this hygiene closet. If you hear Essence squealing, she had an accident so I put her butt in the cage because girl no <laughs> you gonna learn in this house you are not gonna be doing stuff like that so um I'm just gonna start filling up these baskets see my mom uses this pine saw in her laundry 
And she says it makes it smell really good. I wish they had a light up here. Um, my sunglasses are falling. So that's why I'm gonna try that unstoppable sign. Jesus, whatever's going on in that situation, I ask that you please move and let your will be done, Lord Jesus. Be with them every step of the way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I cleaned up her pee and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you have kids or dogs, you need that green Bissell cleaner. That thing right there is a lifesaver. I would have never got her pee stain up had I not used it. Anyways, so this is the current hygiene product closet progress. Dang, I did not need to say all that. This is the current progress of my hygiene closet, but for some reason I'm getting like super bored. So we're gonna stop this and start something else. <laughs> Because we're extremely responsible, right? Anyways, so when I took off those LED lights that were on my bed, the stickiness like stayed there so it collected dirt. And this is what my beautiful bed is looking like. So I was like, acetone, like I told y'all earlier, acetone works for sticky stuff. So I've already taken off a good amount right here and there's no more stickiness right here. If it leaves a stain, then I will use the Bissell to go ahead and collect that. But I'm just so grateful because Jesus reminded me that acetone works. Okay, so I just went ahead and grabbed a white baby washcloth because I don't want any like staining on my bed of like any color. So, I need to drink some more water y'all. My mouth is getting super dry. I grab a little bit of acetone, okay? Put it on the baby washcloth and just kind of scrub at whatever sticky part. And it comes right off. Beautiful. Like I said, if it leaves a stain, the Bissell is coming out. Okay, but I'm trying to learn how to take care of things at home instead of buying new things because trust and believe, I considered buying a whole new bed because I was just like, there's no way I'm getting ready to look at this beautiful bed with these nasty, sticky stains on it because I knew that this room would have a lot more lighting so I can really see things in this home because there's so much more lighting. The windows are bigger. Everything is just lit up. 
I don't know what the heck was up in my other apartment, but that was super weird how they had no light fixtures. Like that is super weird. It's like they want people to be depressed. And then they had minimal windows. It's like whoever designed that, tch, not very smart. But I guess that's not nice to say either. Wow, this is amazing. Girl, get you some cheap acetone and get the gum out of your bed or some sticky stuff. Get it off with some acetone. Wow, it's getting all that dirtiness off. Y'all, look at this. So nasty. Do not mind the noise outside you guys are doing some um landscaping some yard work i don't freaking know but oh my gosh i just really needed to calm down and i guess i never really knew that if you just step away and think and pray the situation won't seem as bad man essence is really trying it today She's screaming at the top of her lungs, you guys, and she has a piercing cry. She's screaming. And I'm sure it's because she sees Lockett gets to get out because Lockett, she's a good dog. Like she doesn't really have to go in timeout like that. So she has to go in the cage a lot because she has timeout. Well, she's screaming. So I'm like, maybe she has to use the restroom. But first, when I came downstairs, I'm telling her no. Now, when I tell her no, she gets scared. And when she's scared, she don't want to come to me. So I'm like, maybe she has to use the restroom. So I open up her cage and I'm like, come on, it's time to go outside. She won't come. So I have to go in and try to get her. And as I go in to get her, my butterfly clip gets stuck in her cage and my head was stuck. I literally could not move. And my mom is so far downstairs and usually Brent's doors closed. They can't even hear me. And I'm like, mom, mom, nobody can hear me. So I have to break my clip. I get up there and I break my clip. And I think that scared her even more that I was like stuck. Anyways, I get her and I'm taking her downstairs. As soon as I put her down, she pees this is the third time today she's been screaming she bit me yesterday i mean not like a crazy bite but she got me she's just been acting out so bad you guys i don't even know how to explain it but it's really testing my patience i take her out she's trying to bark at people like i don't know and i know i'm being tested it's the little things but she is really hitting a nerve today. Like, I'm not even gonna sit up here and lie. Like, she's really annoying me. So I just, I really just wanna cry. Like, I can't even explain to you guys. Like, I just wanna cry. Cause she's just, she's been having like some really rough days. And it's just like, man. Come here. And she peed. Oh my gosh. Essence. Oh, I'm not kidding. Hi, I'm gonna have a Are you ready? Okay. Um. Can I have a deluxe McCrispy with no lettuce and okay. add pickle? And the drink? I mean, did you want the milk today or no? Um, no. <clears throat> I'm just going to add a small fry and a large water. Is that all? Yeah, that'll be it. So does like a screen them. Okay. Thank you. Anyways, man, SSV really breaking my heart, y'all. That's not even a joke. Let me turn y'all. This is a little, um, little different. I got a pole right next to me. It's like how I'm supposed to pull my car in. Can't even use that card. Might as well cut it up, burn it, something. But yeah, Essence really breaks my heart. Like she got me in a little sad mood right now because I can't stand having to raise my voice at her because she gives me these little, literal, literal puppy dog eyes. And then she acts funny towards me. Like how she didn't want to come out the cage. And then I let her out and then she's bad again. She just takes so much more like patience and so much more love and so much more that man it's a lot i came to mcdonald's because i'm getting a little hungry and i honestly just want to like step away step away um because i'm no good for her if i don't step away and it, it, it almost sounds like i'm talking about a child right now because i know a lot of people are gonna be like girl it's just a puppy but it's just like she's a really time consuming puppy like she's one of those puppies that like she's a life decision that's why i'd be like man moms are amazing like you guys are superheroes like you guys are dope like y'all are some of the man i'm not even i don't even know words can't even explain especially when i talk about like teen moms like i ain't judging nobody 
if you're a teen mom i just give credit where credit is due and all i know is that if you own up to what you have done girl you a g it is what it is because you change the future if you raise your child right and you're selfless plus i think it's bothering me a little bit more just because i am really off balance like we haven't gotten too much sleep the whole entire family hasn't really slept much and there's just been so much going on hold on you have the deluxe no shunning lettuce and stuff? Correct. 908. Did you want the receipt as well? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Thank you too. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Thank you. Oh, he was so gentle and sweet. We love it. My first day that I moved here, you guys, I came here and I swear to gosh, I'm not lying. You guys are gonna think I'm lying. You're gonna think I'm lying, but I'm not. I sat here for 20 minutes in line. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I was so upset about my bed. I didn't even care, I just sat here. I just sat here, I swear to gosh. And I timed it, like it was 20 minutes from the time that I pulled up, yes, absolutely. So my life advice is step away if you get overwhelmed because everything feels so much worse when you just don't step away and you just remain in it. Driving out here is scaring me because girl, this ain't, this ain't Lansing. Ooh, no. Mm -mm. Let me get off this thing. Come on. Where do you want to go? Because you didn't pee all throughout my house. I don't even feel like you got to go pee. Oh, yeah, you do. Your butt's shaking. Come on. Outside. Outside, pumpkin. Outside, pumpkin. Come on, we got to go outside. Stop it. Good girl. Good girl, pumpkin. Don't you jump on me. Good girl. No, no, just stay. See, was that so hard? Was that so hard? Good girl. Hey, get down off me. Who was that? Who was that? Stay. Ah, sit. Stay. Screen. but I know that essence is at the right home it definitely takes a very patient person and that's what actually one of my biggest challenges but it is teaching me patience but I believe she is at the right home and I meant to have her she just a lot huh pumpkin huh, all right have fun Let's see what happens. Come on, pumpkin. Oh, not you. You're already upstairs. But what I did do, though, off of camera, um, is I got the Bissell, and I did clean my bed. But I will say this. I did notice that not all of it came up, but it's still so much better. Like, it's very faint. There's still a line, but there's no stickiness and there's no dirt on it. And honestly, I'm very satisfied with that because it doesn't look yucky. So I cleaned this side with that and I cleaned this side as well. And I also cleaned up her pee. So let's see how dirty the water is. Okay, nasty, nasty, nasty. So yeah, we haven't even gotten much done today, but I have spent a lot of time with the Lord Jesus Christ. So at least that's good. This is literally all we have gotten done today and yeah i mean i still have like a full day left um jordan's getting ready to get out of work though so i'm gonna eat my food and then see what else i can get done but he'll be home very soon so we're gonna be headed to walmart soon we're gonna be headed to walmart wait a minute you guys just seen this right i just took her out literally and she just peed again mom's, mom's, hey, mom's, mom's calling me mom's. yep oh she know okay i was just calling to tell chloe what happened Right here, on my floor. Oh, get in your cage. You're kidding. You guys think I'm joking and I'm literally not. And I swear to God, she has not had that much water today. Something is up. Thanks, Brent. 
That is like the 10th time today. She had two spots right here. She pooped downstairs on my brother's floor, then peed again on, on his floor, and then peed twice out in like the kitchen and living room area. I, d like what? Like she had a really bad day yesterday, but today is topping yesterday. Oh my gosh, man. When I tell you guys, Essence has been doing so good, it's crazy. My face is so red right now because I'm getting hot. And when I tell you guys, Essence has been doing so good that this is kind of weird. Essence was literally almost completely trained. And like, we got here and she's been doing so bad. And I know it's a new atmosphere, it's like a new setting. I know it's all new for her. And that's what we've all been saying to each other is that this is all new for her. And that we, you know, we understand because, you know, once again, it's all new for her. Who in the world made this? Maybe I'm just being negative. Thank you, Jesus, that I even have food to eat. Thank you, Jesus. You release something in the spiritual realm when you begin to thank Jesus out loud. Jordan's gonna get home from work. And I'm gonna be like, can you please put up my bookcase? Can you please help me put up the hygiene products? <laughs> I love him to death though, because he never has an issue helping me with anything. A man will show you if he really loves you by the way he acts towards you and the way, and the way he treats you. He could say it all day, but if he ain't showing you, mm-mm. And I always tell him that I'm so grateful for how he treats me and just how patient and gentle he is with me at all times. Sometimes we have a picture of what we're gonna be with in the future, but the Lord Jesus Christ knows what we actually need and he knows the person that he actually made for you. So things don't always go as expected, but baby, they turn out completely amazing, better than you ever thought it would. Y'all hear her? Swear to gosh, she just scared me so bad. I got up and I seen something behind me. Why in the heck did she just scare me so bad? I'm not mad at you, baby girl. I am not mad at you. Come here, honey. Did I scare you when I got scared? Honey bunny. Girl, yes. Oh my gosh, this is perfect timing. Y'all know I have been getting back into taking care of myself and actually doing my hair. And I'm not sure if you watched that video, but on one of my vlogs, like way back when, I made this hair grow grease, hair grow grease, and I added like a bunch of different oils and greases. And here it is. And this is perfect timing because y'all know I'm getting back into my hair care. Yes, ma'am. I don't even know what all is in here, but girl, it smell good. Okay, in this box is like a bunch of bar soap. And I plan on putting the bar soap at like the lower level, so... Uh, I've just been like adding a bunch of random stuff to these bins because I just honestly want to get it done so I can move on to the next thing. And then when I have the time, I can go back in and organize them, you know, lotions with lotions and stuff like that. But as for right now, I really don't have time to do that to every single bin. So I'm just kind of loading the products in. And this box is full of products. Oh, thank the Lord. I have found some shaving products because I had to shave my legs with some uh baby soap today i mean it worked but girl i need my shaving cream oh yes i feel a lot better i just needed to step away eat a little food drink a good amount of water um i was starting to be like Ugh, i don't want to do this with a negative little attitude but um it ain't nothing to be negative about i got this i got this it just be looking overwhelming when you have to look at everything, but girl, I got this. Packing is so annoying, especially when like you have other things to do. Like you have to handle life in itself. <laughs> and then you have to do all this unpacking and kind of like getting your life back together. Girl, I remember when I was on TikTok and this stuff was blowing up and I never used it. Like, does this stuff really work? I wonder because I would love to use this and not have to like always use razors. Sounds like fun. Oh girl, I'm gonna pack this to the brim because girl, I ain't got time to be not having space. One bin is done and this has like a bunch of lotion and shaving products.
and I have officially used every container I had. And I'm like, girl, ain't no way that's all that held because I spent $160 just on containers in themselves. Now I have to go back to Walmart, not back to, but now I'm gonna go to Walmart and try to find cheaper containers at Walmart because there's no way I'm about to spend another $160 on containers. They look amazing, but there's no way I'm gonna buy these for $10 each again. These were on sale for six, but these were $10. Like girl, there's just, there's just no way. So let me go ahead and put that on my Walmart list. And then when I get back home, I can put in more work on the hygiene closet. And also look at this super cute picture my nephew took of me. Me and the camera's not even giving it justice. But my nephew took this picture of me and he was like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. You look like a movie star. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. He is like so amazing. He's like my biggest supporter, you guys. I swear to gosh, he's so dope. Cannot wait to see him. Shout out to Zaire. White containers for hygiene products. Okay, I'll get it when I get in the store. I'll understand what it's saying. My baby is sleeping. My baby is sleeping. Hi, best friend. Hi, best friend. If you are looking for a low energy, very intelligent, obedient dog, you want to get a cockapoo or a golden doodle. You want to get that kind of dog. They say all doodles, but I really disagree because Essence is a doodle and she, um, yeah. I wish you would take a list. I'd get you. I get ya. Look at honey. Look at my little poopy ear. You're gonna wipe my kiss off? Oh, that's how we doing it? That's how we're gonna, <gasps> that's how we're gonna do it. <gasps> Goodness. Okay, so Jordan just got home. I was just getting ready to go ahead and start loading my makeup into these drawers because I want them to be in these drawers, but at the same time, I'm like, do I? Or do I want it at my vanity? Yeah, I want it at my vanity. I'm so back and forth with everything here because I just don't know. Anyways, let me talk to y'all for a minute before I head out because I need someone to talk to. I have always had the feeling that Essence was mentally challenged. When I looked it up, like, not everything is right online, but she has a lot of the signs that a dog is mentally challenged. Moving away from people who approach them, she does that a lot. Yawning when they're not tired, she does that a lot. Pacing back and forth or in circles, that is essence. She cannot sit still. Whimpering or whining 24 seven, even if somebody just walks out of the door really fast, she'll scream. Avoiding eye contact, that happens a lot. Excessive licking their lips, or sniffing the air, she does that. Having a hard time playing, she doesn't know how to play without biting and being aggressive. Now I need to find her another vet because the vet that I have, she's kind of, she's older and she does it out of her basement, but she's super attentive, she's super sweet, but I just know that I need to get her another vet to maybe get tests ran on her. But as for right now, I'm just gonna keep being patient with her and loving her and praying over her because she has the potential, I've seen it. But there's just those certain things that take a lot of patience. And I know that the Lord Jesus Christ placed her in my life for a reason. If he made her, she is not a mistake. But girl, we headed to Walmart as a family. Okay, girls. So I have made it to Walmart. And there are so many things that I planned on getting for the new condo that I cannot get because my card is canceled. And I have only got so much to work with. I mean, it's a blessing in disguise because it's teaching me like, hey, you can't just get whatever you want. But I really want to get some liners for our cabinets. Can't wait to do, to do that. I just had to put back so much room stuff that I picked up because I forgot that my car just canceled. But I will get the things that are really needed. So we do need a drawer organizer because girl, um, the drawers are looking really wild. And I already have tons of stuff in the cart. Can you hold this? My baby is out of work. Yeah. I was so happy to see you. I missed you. I missed you too. Um, so I got two different panels. This is blackout. This is sheer. These will go in the middle and these will go on the left side and the right side. I got some onions, tomatoes, zucchini, basil. I got avocado at the house. I have lemon at the house because I want to make a nice um, 
like vegetable meal. I still gotta get some chicken and some noodles. We got some random food items. And I found this super cute little hot Cheeto makeup palette. I'll probably never use it, but I just thought it was cute. And then I picked up these eyelashes because I wanna see what I can do with them. Well, it's not really focusing. They're cuter if they focus, but I picked those up because I wanna see what I can do with them. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that because we need that for the kitchen. And I should honestly probably grab this too because we're gonna need it for the cans that I have currently. So I'm gonna grab this can organizer. Okay, so this is all the containers that they had in stock. So I only have three more white containers and I need to grab tons of hangers. That should be good for now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make this amazing meal that I love to make. I only made it one time, but I love to make it. I'm gonna make this amazing meal and we'll see what I get done. And of course I won't be able to put away too many hygiene products because I don't have that many containers. But we'll see. Y'all can obviously tell your girl's tired because this video is not very productive. But it's a happy vlog and it's an encouraging vlog because I'm gonna let each one of you know that you have special gifts and abilities that nobody else has. You are uniquely made. You are you, there will never be another you. So it's like, why not be you? It's like, you'll never truly be free ever in life until you stop caring about what other people think. And it's like, as I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to myself. I'm so tired, I even forgot what I did today. I woke up and I had a really nice amount of energy, which I haven't had in the morning time for a while. So thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna make that vegetable meal that I made. I roasted the vegetables, blended it. Oh, that one again? And made it a sauce. Uh-oh. I'm gonna make that with some chicken. So I'm gonna go home and instantly start making that. Hopefully somebody will clean the kitchen for me because I don't want to. I can clean it. You can clean it? Well. I was wondering if maybe when I was cooking, could you put up my bookshelf? Yeah. Because I want to start putting up some perfumes and then, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. You know, I like putting stuff together. You do? Yeah. I don't know that. That's why I want power tools so bad, so I can start putting stuff together. Ooh. I literally just want to order random stuff for just so I can put it together. <laughs> You're funny. How was work? It was good. We're just waiting for my mom and my brother. They had to get like a good amount of groceries, which I'm happy about because I feel like my mom's gonna do really good with the grocery shopping and then I can handle other things. Look at my gorgeous mom. Like I said earlier, my mom is doing better than ever. Look at her. Oh, Look thank at them you, glasses. Sugar. Shout out to my brother for getting her the Versace glasses. Yeah. For Mother's Day. Thank you, Cameron. Doing very well. Thank you. Okay. So, your girl just arrived home. I put those cute little bins in there. They're all like different designs, but honestly, I don't care. These are obviously my favorite because they just look super professional and super cute, but that's what the closet is looking like right now. But while they are putting away all their groceries, I have preheated the oven. So by the time I get down there, I can just cut up the vegetables and start roasting them. But while they're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple things in my bathroom. I love this light though. Let's turn that on because it just looks super bouge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get like a couple things done. I'm gonna fill this spray bottle up with my Mr. Clean Unstoppable Spray so I can easily wipe down my bathroom at all times. Okay, that's glass. That would have been bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I swear to gosh. Stay on balance or you're gonna have crazy days. This stuff smells divine, you guys. But how the heck am I gonna put it in there without spilling? I'm gonna add a little hot water and call it a day. Oh girl, my bathroom finna be smelling good at all times. I gotta get some plugins in here. I really have enjoyed this wax uh, or this um, oil diffuser, but now I have a nice little cleaner for my bathroom so I can easily straighten up and wipe down my bathroom. Oh, I didn't even know I had a plug right there. That's nice. And I have one right there. See, I'm still finding out new things about this place. I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat. Um, it's that this. This is Mr. Clean, I'm so close to it. It smells so amazing. I found it at Target and I told my whole entire family, I said, this is mine. <laughs> Don't say that too. I'm not playing, this is mine. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I was, why did I say like, no, he's not eating. No, he's not eating. So, it's embarrassing. Anyways, um, can you start putting up that bookshelf? Because once you do that, I'll be able to put up all my body sprays and then um, I can start on like my dossier fragrances. I just been keeping all my products up here because I haven't organized everything yet. But like I said, you guys, it's so cool just to have like a nice spray bottle and a roll of paper towel in your bathroom because you can easily just wipe everything down all the time. 
And I love these sinks, you guys. I'm just so grateful. Everything's great. Y'all know I'm just really tired right now. I'm just a little bit off balance. So I'm, I sound not so excited, but trust and believe I really am. But I'm just a little sleepy. Okay, I'm just a little sleepy. And I gotta get on a good schedule. Like I really gotta get a nice routine down. And I've literally been going to bed at like 12 o'clock at night, one o'clock in the morning. Which, girl, that ain't it. Okay, so Jordan actually found my bag of bathroom decor, like a little bit of it. In here, I have some decorations for my bathroom or from my other bathroom. Hi, monkey, monkey, monkey. Like, what in the world? I can put my paper towel on here. Everything's not so cute right now because I haven't really gotten the like theme that I want to do. Honestly, there's like no themes going on right now with this video. There's literally no theme. It's just super random. It's just a bunch of random things going on honestly right now. And I feel like that can give you an excuse to just not do anything or you can just do what you can in the midst of the randomness. If you get what I'm saying. You ever just like ramble and just say random things when you're tired? Cause girl, me too. Same. Okay, so this is what we are working with right now. Okay girl, and I really need to wipe down my mirror and everything else as well. Look how cute that is, you guys. Oh yes, girl. Real fast, actually, I came upstairs to go ahead and change my outfit into a gown because I'm super hot. Real fast, I switched out the plant and the paper towel and it just made it look so much better. It actually looks amazing now. That actually looks great. So it's just like the little things that seriously count. Anyways, I'm super hot. Let's get to cooking, y'all. Dinner is being made right now. So I am going to be making a homemade, homemade, a homemade vegetable sauce. So right here, I have some garlic. All of these vegetables that are going to be shown will have to be roasted, except for the avocado and the cilantro. So right now I have cut an onion. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the skin off. And all of these are gonna go into a tray. I've already got the oven preheated to 400. And they're gonna go in there for about an hour. Half of that hour, I'm gonna go upstairs and see what I can get done. And then the other half an hour, I'm gonna go ahead and start making some chicken because this is going to be like a chicken vegetable pasta. So we've got a full onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. We've got some garlic cloves. I'm gonna add that in there. And I'm gonna cut up a good amount of tomato because that's what's gonna really make that sauce. And then we're gonna cut up some zucchini. We're gonna add some olive oil. And this actually doesn't even require any seasoning. All right, got some tomato. And this is called Hidden Vegetables. So I was watching the Plant You channel on YouTube and it's this lady that she is, what, vegan, plant-based? I don't even know, you guys. Um, but she is really good at making meals to hide vegetables. And I'm not the best with vegetables, so this is super yummy to me. It's not her recipe. I added my own different vegetables only because I don't like pepper and just the certain things she added, but I like them this way. Three tomatoes. Got garlic, onion, zucchini. This is such a beautiful kitchen. Yeah. And then for the basil, I actually like to add it on top of the pasta fresh, but I do add a couple leaves to the mixture. Only because it's pretty, but also because it, when it roasts, it gives it a little bit of flavor. So I'm just gonna add a couple basil leaves to that. And that looks beautiful. I'm just trying to make sure that that is everything that is supposed to be in there. Because I add the avocados after, I add the cilantro and the lemon after. So then that's good. Let me grab some olive oil. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that in the oven for about an hour. Oops! <laughs> Mom, get rid of this big old thing. I just dumped a bunch in there. Oh well, I guess it's gonna be a little unhealthy. This is what that looks like, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the oven for about an hour.
crazy thing to me is that she hasn't potty this much in a day since forever i feel like like it's been a minute since she's had one of these days to where i literally couldn't believe how much was coming out of her body and it's one of those days today like it just doesn't make sense how she has that much coming out of her freaking body you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and clear out this container you know what i'm gonna use these two these are super cute so y'all know i used to sell lashes and i'm gonna also try to cut these up and see what i can do on my lashes only thing is is i would prefer a clear band but i'm gonna work with what i have so I, technically i didn't even really have to buy those lashes earlier i'm gonna put my makeup palettes up here hold on because where's my little hot cheeto makeup palette let me go grab that how freaking ugly i don't even know why i bought this this is so ugly and ratchet but i had to because like the packaging i'm sorry that was stupid to do like i've been doing so good with like not buying stuff that's not needed but i feel like i had to get that and it really wasn't even that bad in price so i got it oh well it is what it does it is what it does it is what it does, it is what it does. you know what's crazy though is i don't even use eyeshadow like I haven't used eyeshadow. <clears throat> well, I haven't used eyeshadow in so long. I don't even know why I'm buying it. But hey, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm not even sure how I had organized my makeup back at my old apartment. So I'm just gonna just add a bunch of different stuff up in here. It ain't gotta be too crazy organized. Let me put on this little ring light. How y'all doing? Hey. How y'all doing? That was crazy when we actually seen where it came from. Exactly. You know when you like randomly watch a show and you hear a meme? Now that's funny. Oh! Ooh, Here I am down on my knees again. I've been getting so much better at makeup, you guys. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm getting like faster at it too, which I'm super happy about. Because I feel like the longer it takes me... Oh! The longer it takes me, the more annoying it is to me. Like, I just get super annoyed when it's taking super long i'm just like oh what the mother freaking freak that can't be all my makeup it could be i'm not really sure though anyways put those lashes in there these are another set i used to sell and then i just went randomly picked up these um singles because i want to go ahead and try those out too it's going to be like a lot of trial and error in this lash journey but i'm gonna get it down packed and i'm gonna customize my own style so that i know exactly what my style is gonna be each and every time i do my lashes so if even if i have to customize it from a bunch of different lashes i'll customize it and pull different lashes from different eyelash strips and figure out what's gonna work best for me because y'all know i love my lashes and girl i will invest some time into figuring out how i can do my own lashes um, and kind of make my own eyelash extensions like at home but anyways that's pretty good. I got a good amount in there. The rest of it is like hair stuff and jewelry. These are makeup wipes though. I don't even use makeup wipes, but they'll always come in handy at least once in my life. And that is it. Ooh, I feel super accomplished because I got a whole bin done. That is very good. And then he is putting up my bookshelf, even though it's going to be a perfume shelf. I'm going to drive back to my old apartment tomorrow because I forgot to grab my perfume boxes. So him and I are going to drive into town and we're going to go ahead and get the rest of my stuff out of my apartment, which literally isn't anything. And I would be worried about it, but my home is completely secured. Every single window, every single... Everything is completely secured. I have cameras from a lot of different angles. Yeah, don't mind my knees. I've been putting my knees on the carpet. Y'all know how I go. I see that. I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's already like 7 o'clock at night, isn't it? Is it? 7:12. <gasps> Girl, I'm done for the day. I don't know where the day went. And I got up early. And I felt like I haven't done anything. Oh, you have. Yeah, I have. The devil's a liar. He always want to convince you he ain't did nothing. And he also, one of his biggest tactics to pull you away from Christ and to cling to the world or cling to sin, he loves to convince us that Jesus doesn't like us and he doesn't love us and we're not worthy enough for Jesus. And that is the complete opposite of everything that is true. That is the amazing thing. No, we don't deserve Jesus' love. No, 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 we don't. It's a free gift. That is the amazing part about it. And it never goes anywhere. Like I told you guys earlier, he'll never love you any more than he loves you right now. And if he can get us to be so negative towards ourselves and be guilty all the time, that can pull us away from Christ. That can really hinder our faith. And faith is how we fight in the spiritual realm. So if you ever feel like Jesus doesn't love you, he's mad at you, the enemy is present and he is lying to you. That's when you have to say, uh, Jesus loves me. I am forgiven. I am doing amazing. I'm going to continue to do amazing. Each and every day I'm coming into the woman or the man that I am supposed to be in Christ. And Jesus' will will be done in my life. Amen. Speak things that will benefit you. 
Your mouth holds a lot of power. Your words direct your path. You will go in the direction of your words. There's so much power in words. Speak it, claim it, and speak what the Bible says about you. Speak what God says about you. If what you're saying and what you're hearing in your mind doesn't align with the word of God, eh, the enemy is present. The Bible don't say none of that stuff about you. You're ugly. You're worthless. You have no talent. Oh, she's better than you. The enemy is present. Invite Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit. Got my drunk looking like a dorm room. Mm, like a college dorm room. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but everything is clashing. Um, so I do have an idea. That tray that I seen in Walmart that I didn't buy today because I was like, it's you know, mm -hmm. too expensive for my card situation. Mm -hmm. Um, it's gonna match this and that plant. So I'm gonna put the plant on here somewhere. It's gonna be cute, but I'm gonna put the tray on here. I'm gonna put it on my and this is my bookshelf. I'm gonna put tons of books. I'm just kidding. It's gonna be filled with perfume. And I was gonna do it today, but I'm actually not going to because I'm actually tired now. But um, what I was going, to, what I'm going to do, you guys, we have a whole series coming up on my channel of like things that have to get done. And no, I'm not ashamed to show my mess. I'm not ashamed anymore. I don't care. Oh my gosh. Huh? What is I ain't worried this? about it. So you know what's funny is the day that I built these on my channel, I was so like, you know, thinking about filming that I forgot to take the actual sticker off. And I was just talking about the people on Amazon reviews, how they wasn't taking their stuff off. And I was like, oh, look at them. Like, they is getting on my nerves, Jordan. Oh, my gosh. That looks so much better. So, that's going to be super cute. Wait, where's my other one at? That's so... I brought both of them. Bright. Where is the other one? It's in here, I think. I don't think so, but nails is dead handsy. I'm not going to show my face, though, y'all. I did a lot of that today where I wouldn't, like, show my face because, like, my face gets super red and blue. I know what I want. Where's my other one? I do what I want. I do what I want. When I want, cause I want to do it. He's showing all you. Oh, here my makeup brush is at. I knew something was missing. Anyway, so like I said earlier, my furniture seems to be clashing, but I have to prove to myself that I, I can do this. So, <clears throat> that mirror has to go somewhere. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but it's got to go. It's not going to match this room, I don't feel like. So, I'm going to have to get like a big black mirror. Um, Black mirror. Cute, maybe uh, like 
tan gray rug. I mean, not gray, tannish beige rug. Some plants, a big plant, and like cream pillows. Also, no, this is not staying here. I still have to figure out, and no, I did not just fart. I just sat on something. I am still trying to figure out how I'm going to arrange things. So this is gonna go probably over here, probably in that corner. I have to get my TVs remounted. And then right here, I'm most likely going to get another dresser. So I could go for like a woody kind of dresser. Um, my mirror has to go somewhere. And then like a rug. <clears throat> I wouldn't even mind like a little table. I don't know, we'll see. Now no faith in no ordinary thing. But I have faith in the creator of everything. Let me tell you now. Let me tell you now. Let me tell you now. I ordinary woman. I know ordinary. You can't play me like no other cause I'm clothed in the blood of Christ I ain't your ordinary woman hey. I ain't your ordinary sister hey. Hey. I ain't your ordinary nothing hey. Cause I'm glowed and I'm warmed up by Christ. Cause I'm glowed and I'm warmed up by Christ. No, no. I'm in your ordinary. No. I ain't your ordinary. Your ordinary sister. I ain't your ordinary girl, no I am not in this world, I am, I am in Christ, I am in Christ, I am the righteousness of Christ, I am the righteousness of Christ, I am the righteousness no mountain high, no valley low, and no river wide enough, baby, to keep him away, or to keep him away. There is no way. You gon' keep feeling like that until you surrender to your Lord. You gon' keep feeling like that until you surrender it all. He ain't gon' leave you, baby. He really love you, baby. He ain't gon' leave you, baby. He really love you, baby. He ain't your ordinary man. He ain't your ordinary man. He's everlasting, the one and only. The ankle feet. Guarantee. You ain't no ordinary woman, you just don't know who you are. Ordinary woman, you just don't know who you are. I think that if you just get a couple of purses and some cars, you would be that girl. But the truth is that you are, yes, you are currently. Yes, you is that freaking girl, yes, you, you is that girl, yes, you is that freaking girl. You just don't know who you are. Know who you are, you just don't know who you are in Jesus Christ. You just don't know who you are in your father. Know who you are in your father. He ain't no ordinary man, no ordinary man. So let me ain't no. What that mean? I ain't no ordinary woman, ain't no ordinary woman, ain't no ordinary woman, ain't no ordinary woman. 
I got the power, Lord, in my body, in my spirit. You know, ordinary woman, you know, ordinary. Hey, he with me all day, watch me all day. Got angels all around, may fight me, man, if I don't say it. I'm messing up, but it's the truth. But it's the bust of the truth, but it's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you ain't no ordinary girl, no ordinary girl, you ain't no ordinary girl, no ordinary girl. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> you your nasty socks, don't ever do that. <laughs> Come here. Nail popped off. Why is it not getting thick? Oh well. Oh hello. Oh hello. Won't rub in. Oh yeah, yeah. Won't rub in. Essence, why can't she win? It's always about you. Hey, can you leave her alone? I'm about to kick her for you. <laughs> leave my sweet girl alone. Good morning, everybody. It is actually the next morning. I ended up just going to bed because I was like super tired last night. If you guys couldn't tell how I was talking and moving. I just made myself a little bit of breakfast, a little bit of um, ham eggs. I don't eat too much in the morning time only because I literally physically cannot. So that's what I'm going to eat right here just to make sure my stomach's not hurting. Right now I'm listening to a Joyce Meyer sermon, actually a Joyce Meyer podcast. And she was just talking about like the more experience you have with God, like the less you have to be worried about things because you know that he did it before he'd do it again you didn't been through so many different things you know that he ain't gonna stop now he didn't bring you all of this way to stop anyways girl i'm gonna go ahead and head up out of here i gotta go ahead and get started on my day i love every single one of you guys and i really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog